Assalamu alaikum, shalom alaikum, adab. Welcome to Musa Munib Explorer YouTube channel. Dear friends, in this video, we are going to talk about adultery in Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, and Islam. First, we'll see what Quran and Bible say about adultery. Both Quran and Bible addresses adultery as a serious sin. In Quran, adultery is condemned in several verses including Surah An nur where it states that such people should be punished with a hundred lashes in case of unmarried. If not, if they are not unmarried people, they shall be stoned till death. Additionally, in Surah An nur An Nisa, sorry, it emphasizes the punishment for women who commit adultery. In the Bible, adultery is explicitly prohibited in the Ten Commandments, Exodus for instance. It also many verses suggest or discourage the adultery. I'm talking about New Testament here. For example, Proverbs in Old Testament and Matthews in New Testament. Jesus teaches that even looking at someone with lustful intent is considered adultery in the heart. I repeat, Jesus teaches that even looking at someone with lustful intention is considered adultery in the heart. Now let's talk about Hinduism. In Hinduism, adultery is considered a violation of Dharma. The ancient Hindu texts such as Manusmriti and Mahabharata emphasize on fidelity between spouses, that's husband and wife. Now, if we talk about Judaism, Judaism is so, so similar to, you know, to that of Islamic rules about adultery. Now, first of all, I will talk about punishment of adultery in Judaism. Torah, Book of Deuteronomy, it suggests punishment of adultery as stoning for both man and woman if they commit adultery that is quite similar to islam but in judaism if the adulterous you know adulterous man or woman is married or they are unmarried either ways they will get the punishment of stoning but in islam there is a difference you know, there is a little bit difference in Islam, if man or woman who commit adultery are married, they shall be stoned till death. That's what Islam says. But in case, in Islam, if the case is otherwise, that is, if a man or a woman commit adultery, but they are not married, they are unmarried, so in that case the both of them will get hundred lashes that's what quran says and that's what judaism says but these two rules in judaism old testament book of deuteronomy that's torah or quran whether it is surah anisa or surah nur both are quite similar but now we talk about you know the punishment of adultery in hindu hinduism in Hinduism, punishment for adultery depends. It can be fines, public humiliation. I told you it depends. Christianity, it is uh, in Christianity, the punishment of adultery is not explicitly prescribed in the New Testament, but in some historical texts. Punishment for adultery is social stigma, divorce excommunication from the church sometimes corporal punishment even death but that's that may, there may be the case what if church gets corrupted what if a rich man pays huge amount of money to the church to the clergyman so this is not you know the uh, here in the new testament this is not uh, prescribed by the god this is not prescribed by the god but it depends on it depends on the church how church deals with this the case of adultery as far as punishment is concerned 
but I, uh, you know, I uh, now I want to just uh, you know conclude this. Uh, in Hinduism, there is no special any you know you know special rule assigned by God that how we should deal with the people who commit adultery. <coughs> and in Christian, in New Testament, there is no specific rule for the punishment for the people who commit adultery but in islam and in judaism old testament and in quran the punishment is very 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 clear and visible to our eyes so that's why i just told you they are quite similar so brothers and sisters hope you like the video you enjoyed the video you learn something from the video so I take your leave, goodbye, but don't forget to like, share and subscribe. God bless you all.